Hello and welcome to the HGC or Hardcore Gamers Club. My name is Daniel and this video is a remake of the last video I made regarding how to uh, do the installation update on the PS4 because an individual pointed out to me that I told you to format it to NTFS when in fact it was FAT32 or XFAT. My apologies, I was thinking of an Xbox One drive at that time. Anyway, so I'm going to remake the video and show you how to do it from scratch. So you'll need a PC. Get on Google or whatever search engine you use and type in PS4 update. You can even, if it auto puts it in, put it in there. You want to find the PlayStation Network. That's this here. This is what it'll look like. All right. Regardless of what the current update is, it'll automatically have the newest, latest update. Okay. So you're going to go down. You can download your standard update by clicking right here. Now this will not do what you need to do. You need to do a fresh install. That's the installation update. You can click here and it'll send you down, but I'm going to show you. Just scroll down here, and the first one you come across will be right here. This is the update update. This is a standard offline update. This one right here, you'll need a USB with a, a minimum of 460 gigabytes of free space. Uh, I'll talk to you about extra folders in the file in a little bit, but if your game system's saying that you need an installation update and you've tried everything and it will not go through, you need to go down a little bit further to this one here, which says you're going to need a USB with a minimum of 1.1 gigabytes of free space. Okay, so you're going to need a USB preferably about 2 gig. If you have other files and folders on it, it's okay, but I'll talk to you uh, uh, so long as you have at least a, a little over 1.1 gig of free. Uh, but I'll talk to you about that as we go. So in that, you're going to need two folders. One's a PS4 folder, one's an update folder, and then you're going to need the actual update. Okay, so the update itself is going to be right here all right so we're gonna go ahead and download that now uh, actually let's not download it just right now let's open up one more window here and there we go okay so here's the drive I'm gonna pull out my USB and put in a new USB okay and this is one that's already done. I'm just going to delete this. Uh, actually, this is the one I used on the video that I last made. So when you take when you put your USB in, you're going to have to check to see. And you see, I deleted everything. It still says there's some in it. You're going to have to check the properties. All right. If the property says the USB is at NT, is formatted for NTS NTFS, excuse me, then you're going to need to reformat it. Okay. So if you have any other files on it, make certain you pull them off before you format it. Okay. If it's already at FAT32 or XFAT, then you can just leave everything the way it is and download your update directly into it. So let's format this one. To, we'll use XFAT. Okay, you got FAT32 default or XFAT. If yours doesn't have the ability to format to FAT32, then I would recommend using XFAT. But if you can format to FAT32, do it. Do that. Okay, FAT32 tends to work a little better than the XFAT, even though they're basically the same thing. Okay, so we're going to format that real quick. It doesn't take long. You can do a quick format. You don't, it doesn't have to be a full format. This will just take a second here. There we go. Format complete. We'll close that off. 
we'll look one more time for the properties. It's at FAT32. Okay. So now let's go here. We're going to hit download. And we got the PS4 update. And we're going to find the F drive, which is my USB, and we're going to save that into it. Okay, so let's open that up. Uh, let's see, right here. All right, so right now it's downloading into this folder. Just look. All right, so right now it says PS4 update dot pup dot CR download. Okay, this is not done downloading until the CR download disappears. Okay. Uh, if you're on Windows 10, you uh, this bottom bar should show up, and it'll give you a progress. You can click Show All, and you can actually watch it being uploaded. Some of your computers will go slower than mine. Some will go faster. A lot of times, these things will go all the way to the end, and they'll hang up for a little while. Just let it sit. It'll finish. But once it's done uploading, oops, let me get back over here this CR download extension at the end will disappear and we'll let you see what that looks like. So let's let this finish uploading. I'm going to just let it go and we'll put this right underneath it here so that you can watch once this is done how this changes. Okay. Now, if you it went through and read how it's done, they're they're telling you to put the update in a root folder, right? The root folder is literally when you open the drive. As soon as you click on the whatever drive, it might have a different letter depending on how many drives you have. If you only have one drive, it might say D or something. Okay, if your USB was named something else, uh, I would recommend you just format it. There it goes. Here we go. See? Now it changed to straight up update pup. Now if you messed up and you did several downloads, this update pup might have an extension where it says, it says in parentheses one, two, or three or something like that. If that's the case, you can easily fix that by deleting that. If the update does, if the if this uh, update program is not all in caps and look exactly like this, then you'll have to rename it. All right. So let's go back here, and we're going to need to make two folders. One, a PS4 folder. Copy the, the PS4 in between the quotes. Do not copy the quotes. Go back to the folder, and you're going to select New Folder and paste that in there. And then you're going to go back over here, and then you're going to select and copy the word Update. Now you can type this in, but it's best if you just copy it directly. That way you know there is no mistakes. And you can hit New Folder, or depending on your settings, you can select right click hit new folder and then paste that into there paste all right so uh, take your update pup drop it into update and then take update and drop it into ps4 and you're done okay now before you go yanking it out of your computer some of you guys settings are going to be different for your computer. So it might be a good idea to go down, way down here, see the mouse, way down in the lower right corner of the screen, and go up here and select safely remove or eject and eject media. And then just eject the USB. Okay, it's safe to remove the USB. So I can pull my USB out. That's how to get your update on the USB. So let's close this off and we will open back up 
the folder or the the USB. We can get back in here. Let me close this so I can open it like this so that you can see the actual drive. So this is my C drive. If you have a secondary drive, it'll show up there. If you have a disk drive, it'll show up here. So depending on how many drives you have, this letter will change. Right now, uh, you can see that there's 28.8 gigabytes free of the total of 29.7 gigabytes. All right, this is the thing. Now when they say root of your USB, when you open your drive, your USB drive, this is your root. So you're just going to make the PS4 folder, you're going to make the update folder, and then you're going to download the update to that folder. Or you can do it like I did, just download it and then make the two folders and drag and drop. Okay. Uh, that's that's as simple as it is and then you'll have to go back to your PS4 plug the USB into the PS4 and follow the on-screen directions if that does not work you may have a hard drive issue okay so to test your hard drive you'll need a uh, SATA converter SATA to USB USB converter they're fairly cheap on eBay I can put a link in the description if you like uh, but uh, if you use a program like this which is hard HDD scan for Windows version 3.3 they might they have a newer version out I believe but I like this older version it works just as good and this allows you to scan the hard drives for errors All right, so this is my uh, main solid state drive for my computer okay all green let's close that off uh, this is the drive for my memory okay all green and this is the cruiser it don't have a smart feature on the USB so can't scan that okay so let's scan this on this program if any one of these green dots have a orange triangle you need to replace the drive because it's failing miserably and has exceeded its error counts it needs to be replaced if it's got a red X that means whatever it that red X is on has already completely failed so you're not going to be able to clone that drive over to something else whether it's got errors or red X's uh, you're not going to be able to clone it all your information is going to be corrupted so you're going to be starting from scratch anyway so uh, I would recommend even if you buy a brand spanking new drive run a diagnostic of it so that you know the brand new drive is actually good because it can come from the factory with errors so it's always a good idea to scan a drive uh, I keep this on my computer for periodic scanning of the drives so that I know if I get a drive that all of a sudden shows a minor error I can immediately start saving data and whatnot uh, the only thing it wouldn't protect against is a catastrophic failure in which case uh, your SOL for all of the files and folders on it you should always keep backups on a third external drive that you don't normally use that's not going to get banged around All right, but that's that's a whole nother topic <laughs> so uh, that's how you set up the update folder for updating the installation update on the PS4 okay so hopefully uh, I didn't make any mistakes on this because like I said the last video I made for this I told you guys to format it to uh, NTFS and I was thinking Xbox One when I was talking about a PS4 two totally different formats that's used stay safe happy gaming everybody